Ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, Transformers fans everywhere, welcome back. LPS, Last Prime Speculator, here to bring you another speculation, as always. I know I've been away for a little bit. That trailer had a huge effect on me. And kind of had to get my mind right, soak it all in, but now i got a bunch of speculations. I'm back. LPS is back, guys. So, in this video, we're going to be talking about the Herald of Unicron. That's right, we're finally going to be touching about Unicron. We're going to learn about what the Herald is and we're going to connect it to the last night. So if you're into speculations, Transformers in particular, this is the channel for you. To my subscribers, I love you so much, but we're going to be speculating Optimus Prime, Unicron, Quintessa, and the Herald of Unicron. Let's get right to it. Before I start, this is a Transformers speculation channel. What we try to do here is we try to find the Easter eggs and dig deeper than most channels. I, we try to talk about pretty much what nobody else really is talking about and then try to tie it and make it all connect. So here we go. I still truly believe that the very beginning of Age of Extinction is very important when the creators came to Earth. I think it's all gonna be tied in. I know they're calling this a soft reboot, but if they gotta connect Mark Wahlberg through this new franchise, they still have to acknowledge Age of Extinction and they kind of have, hence the maker. But maybe there was more. Here we go. So the opening of Age of Extinction, we know the uh, tons of those spacecrafts came down from Earth and we see the alien-like figure, which we assumed was the creators of the Transformers at the time, right? But everything, in my opinion, is connected through this scenery right here. The scene with Dragonstorm, the scene where the creators are coming down to Earth, the, the, the scenes with Vivian and Mark Wahlberg, running away it is all in my opinion this is all the same land this is the land where the makers the creators whatever came and visited earth dropped all the seeds all over the earth and basically wiped out the dinosaurs and spread all the cybertronian metal everywhere um what i think this is is that this event this war battle is kind of like the jerusalem of humanity and transformers this is where the creators visited earth and basically created their Transformers on our land, which is Earth, right? They dropped all the seeds everywhere, right? Dropped it through all, all the Earth on this scene. And I think this whole scene, this whole movie will be based on the opening of Age of Extinction of the creators. I mean, if you look at all the scenery, the mountains, everything looks very similar. The valley dragon storms flying through. It looks very similar when he's running next to King Arthur. You see the creators in between this like crater, even the night ship, ties in, in my opinion, to this. This is where something is being built and created. All this Cybertronian metal is based off of um, all the movies, in my opinion, of, the, of this new reboot launch in a way. Starts off from Age of Extinction when the creators visit Earth. You could do a lot of things, okay? 
were they creating something good or were they creating something bad? We'll get to that. But I believe also that in the final trailer with the Knights of Cybertron, when they crash landed on Earth, they came in after the, uh, we'll call it the creators, dropped the seed and put all the Cybertronium metal. But basically they were putting something evil in the ground of Earth and then the Knights of Cybertron crash landed, almost putting the gate on top of it, locking whatever. In my opinion, the creators were trying to build at the time, right? And with all the Cybertronium metal, it looked like something big. They were preparing for an invasion and they were preparing to start building a mass production of what? And that is the question of what? But the scenery is all looked the same in my opinion. Look at the mountains. I mean, I'm trying to give you guys all an examples throughout all these, but you can see the river, the mountains, and you see uh, King Arthur and Dragonstorm flying next to each other with that river, right? The river itself too could tie into something in my opinion good. I think it could be the Well of Sparks, something created through Solus Prime. I think Earth and obviously Cybertron are connected in some way. There's life form on Earth. And I think the river could be very important of something good with that kind of with that whole little um that the artifact of in my opinion the UK and the Knights Templar cross. If you haven't seen it, check out one of my my last channel of the infection the hate infection. I kind of get deep with it in there. But that could tie in as well, right? Now in all these vines, the the Cybertronian veins if you want to call them I mean, I, I can't prove it right here up in the sky, but I think that is coming from the ground. But when it crash lands, again, you see the mountains again. You see those hilltops. You see what I believe is the beginning of Age of Extinction with the creators, right? Um, you see Vivian running. You see the, the imminent destruction of everything we know and love begins. When all seems lost, the mountains again, it all, in my opinion, looks like where the seeds were implanted. This is basically the Jerusalem of the Transformers on Earth. This was their mass production. And I think the Knights of Cybertron, Dragonstorm, knew and found out of this location from who is the big question I want to know. And that's why their ship crash landed here. Basically, they were locking something away that the, the creators were creating. And that's where Excalibur comes in. It's locking the hate and evil in right and the question really is now what are they creating moving on optimus prime has left us this is something that blew my mind i was watching this the other day and totally went past me i don't know if I, some of you guys might have put it in my comments i don't know but if you look very closely right here, there's no spark. There's no soul of Optimus Prime. If you look at the dead center of his chest and you analyze it, I've got an arrow right there pointing to it. The soul, the centerpiece of his chest is gone. Does that mean that the matrix of leadership is missing? Optimus Prime is dead. He's dead right here. There is no spark. A Transformer cannot live without a, a spark of some sort to provide the energon inside of it right uh that's is their life source right that's pretty much why they, they keep coming here and all the uh, everything is for the energon never touching the live action universe but i think they're actually finally going to touch it in this one so i'm going to give you a couple of speculations of what could have happened with this because i was dumbfounded by this and i had a touch on it at the end of age of extinction right we knew he flew up to space and um said he was coming for them he was coming for his creators right and he flew up with the seed and at the time, he flew up with vengeance, hate, and he wanted revenge in a way, right? Easiest scenario, the creators got him before he got to them, right? It looks like he got jacked up. This could be a couple of things, and I, I, feel, I feel real weird saying this. And um, somebody left a comment on my channel, right? And I, I looked at it the other day after reading this, and I can't remember who it is, and if I can't, make sure to leave a comment, because I'll, I'll give you a shout out for that. But he pointed out, this could be the future of Optimus Prime, as in this isn't the end of this movie. This is the end. He dies, and he floats away in space, and that is the end of it, the last night. That, that, that was very unique, and then I finally understood what he was talking about. Make sure you leave a comment in my uh, section, by the way, because uh, I owe you a shout-out for that. Uh, I want to make sure you got credit for that one, because now it made sense. But the matrix of leadership is missing, right? Optimus flew out to space with the seed, the sword, the shield, 
the matrix of leadership, we think, they didn't touch on any of the distinction, but let's just assume he does, that what if also that this was a sacrifice? Because if you remember in Age of Extinction, when he flew up and said, uh, Kate asked him, will we ever see you again? Optimus says, Kate Yeager, I do not know, but when you look up into the stars, think of one of them is my soul. So what if he took the seed and actually put it in his spark and sacrificed himself? Remember in the first one, he tried doing it and Sam didn't let it happen, right? Maybe he grabbed the seed and that's what he decided to do. Maybe he realized he was too weak from battle from, with lockdown. He probably couldn't make it. So he sacrificed himself, right? And that's when he said, think of one of them as my soul. You could touch on that part, right? This, this could actually also be the real live Optimus Prime, right? This could actually be the Optimus Prime, which I will show eventually, um, of what we're seeing in these movies might actually not be the real Optimus Prime. This could be the actual one. Maybe they scanned his body like they could do with Transformers and Makers, Quintessa whatever and then they're they're creating their own prime in the nemesis prime which i'm going to talk about in a sec um or maybe the herald yeah we're getting into it the herald of possibly unicron right this could also be this is something i'm throwing out there i'm trying to connect this one of my movies if you haven't seen my movie infected i'm trying to connect it with that one what if this is megatron what if megatron used the ksi technology to transform into optimus prime Thinking that maybe one of the gods was going to come and rescue Optimus and it was actually going to be Megatron and then Megatron would have the powers of a prime. He'd finally be a prime and use all the evil against. That could be it too, right? And with the KSI te technology, if you want to think about it, right? If you can do all that, you should be able to go through the internet and go back in time and know exactly what transpires in the events, right? And be able to possibly predict history with their advanced Cybertronian technology, right? And he might have been able to locate Optimus, got into a spark somehow, and then basically stole the soul of Optimus, let him die, and hope to God that something greater uh, re revives him and gets rid of that Galvatron body because you know he hates the humans, right? Um, this also could be the sacrifice. Maybe we actually did already see Optimus Prime die in the fourth one, right? I mean, maybe that this new Optimus Prime is now the new darker route of Optimus they're going with. Because, I mean, let's be honest, the, the guy's, the guy's has, shows no mercy in this movie. Michael Bay makes him ruthless, and I love it. I love when Prime, you basically, you follow justice, you follow freedom, or you get effed up. It's, that's it. And I'm totally cool with it. I love it. But this could actually have been an actual sacrifice where he actually, he actually died. And the one we're seeing isn't actually Optimus. Or, on his mission, a god got him. Moving on. Want to know, don't you? Art. Right here, you can see the demon. There's the devil around there. Uh, Infernicons. Yeah, if you guys are going to say it's, it's Infernicons, but I'll get to the scene in a second. Very when Prime hits them and slaughters them, slices all their heads off with no vengeance. Badass, by the way. Badass. That reminded me when he fought Unicron in Transformers Prime. But. I'm not think, I'm saying this is Unicron yet. I'm saying this is the soul of Unicron. I think this is the living soul, mind of Unicron in this body. This is a small portion of his body, right? He is trying to come to Earth to get maybe his backup metal, his Cybertronian metal, his actual body, a piece of his body, whatever, it's on Earth. But this that's why that this is coming to Earth. It could be Quintessa, it could be the Maker, it could be connected in one, but let's speculate and say that this is the soul of Unicron, the actual living or uh, living organism, Cybertronian organism of Unicron is this planet right here. And he is bound to this spine and this is where he lives off of. He could have absorbed all of the Cybertronian trying to get his natural form in his body. And again, you can see the brain, you can see the arms, you can see it, 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 it there is something there. Now this is this Quintessa. We're gonna pretend this is Unicron. I think that this is the soul Unicron. Again, the beginning of uh, Rethink Your Heroes, the poster at the top corner has the demon horns. Looks like the Infernicons, you could say that. But they could also be lying to us and saying that that is the part of uh, Unicron's minions, right? I mean, it's he's Satan of Transformers. Just change the name, right? Keep us guessing. They're trying to build their own lore and still tie it in. Or it could be Quintessa. 
but there's a brain, there's something functioning here, and this thing is breathing and coming to Earth. And I think this could be the actual soul of Unicron. Optimus Prime, you destroyed your home. Do you seek redemption? My maker, I do. The Herald of Unicron. Yes, the Herald of Unicron. I'm gonna tie it in with Quintessa and Optimus Prime. What if Optimus Prime is the new Herald of Unicron? The Riddler, shout out to you. He gave me this idea. We talked on Twitter. And I'm gonna be doing a movie of his speculation, which is the reason made me connect this. But let's let's look at the definition of the Herald of Unicron, right? This is off TF Wiki. Herald of Unicron. A term for a Transformer who served or has been reformatted by Unicron, right? Without getting too much in depth. Now, Nemesis Prime, the Herald of Unicron, right? And the Unicron aligned designed of from the comics, okay, without mumbo jumbo, okay. A Herald of Unicron, Nemesis Prime, is a dark clone of Optimus Prime, who was left dead by Mega Zarka. To rot on the shores of the Rust Sea, which is an infection, right? The Prime was cl cloned by Unicron and awoken slowly to the Dark God's torture. Completely broken, this Prime is an internal servant and begs for the consuming nothing of Unicron's victory over the multi-universe. Anything is preferable to the flood of in-fight suffering that is his own existent. He, his only weakness is what tiny rotten portion is left of his honor. He carries the dead matrix with him and possibly the only thing that can kill Unicron's enemy, Primus, Optimus Prime's maker, the, the, the creator, the good guy, right? Now, I know you're going to say, you're going to say, well, this is about Quintessa, the maker, blah, blah, blah. It's about the Quintessons, okay? Well, again, the Herald of the Unicron. The Quintessons are connected with Unicron and Primus, right? Alpha Quintesson was one of the heralds of Unicron. Now let's read about Alpha Quintesson. Alpha Quintesson has technical spread wide, influencing the actions of both the Autobots and Decepticons alike. He also has the command of armies of the Terracon drones. Check out my channel, Infernicus. I tell you about that little TF education. His actual motives are unclear, but his goal is obvious. He plans to gather enough energon to restore the shattered remains of the planet devourer Unicron. They made Quintessa a female in this, okay? And in my opinion, throughout all these trailers, they have the women talking. I feel like there's a couple of voices. In the first one, it says Optimus Prime, do you seek redemption? The other one says you destroyed your world. Um, I feel there's multiple. The Quintessons have multiple personalities. Now, Alpha Quintesson, I know, is a male. They're putting in their own universe in. What if they made Quintessa the Herald of Unicron, right? She had the tentacles, right? Um, she had the Cybertronian feel, right? Everybody thinks she looks like some sort of the Quintesson. I thought originally she looked a little bit like Quint uh, Quintus Prime, who's a male, but the idea of the Quintessons was what I think we can all agree on that, right? And then he says, my maker, I do. And you see the purple eyes coming, right? Now, if you tie in both of them, right? We'll tie in Alpha Quintesson. The motives are unclear, right? He could have made, she, she, let's say Quintessa, the Herald of Unicorn, Quintessa could have made a deal with Unicron that I'll give you Cybertron back if you give me my planet back, or give me my body back which is on Earth. I need you to take me to Earth to get that. That could have been how the deal was arranged, right? And um, he needs the Energon, right? Okay, he needs the Energon. Again, with the medallion, I've done a breakdown of it. I think that those mountains could be Energon. I think those, what honestly, what the Knights of Cybertron could be protecting to make sure that Quintessa and the prophecy does not lead Unicron to be able to restore himself on Earth using the, the Energon. Now let's tie in with Optimus Prime, right? The Nemesis Prime, the dark clone of Optimus Prime, right? In that trailer, Quintessa's trying to break him, right? We just broke down the spark. The spark of Optimus Prime is missing. They talk about the dead Matrix, right? Optimus Prime, in my opinion, is dead. We don't know where the Matrix is. What if he died and he was literally the last Prime? The Matrix died 
with him and would be the dead matrix, right? He's restored, this could be his new body. Everybody that Unicron gets, right? He gives them a new, um, a new, a new army, new body. If you see, watch the G1 movie, you know all about it. Basically, they screwed it up. So it, they could be just substituting Galvatron with that, with the Optimus Prime in this one. With the live action, it's gonna hit that much harder for people like me, right? That have uh, taken that very hard. That's kind of why I've been l l trying to get my, 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 my mojo back. But don't worry, guys, I'm back, I'm back. But the Prime is awoken slowly. Now, if you see him, when he's all chained up there, right? That He looks like he's a brand new body. He has a brand new body. That the, the, the spark and everything, in my opinion, is completely redesigned. They put something in him, and the soul of Optimus Prime could still be there. And basically, that's when the Red Mark Infection, which I'll do in another video, could be tied in with Megatron. Stay tuned for that one. I'm almost done with that one. Um, but it, his goal is the Dark God's acceptance. Unicron doesn't accept anything right they both have a pack so again with my last thing it could have been tied in with the sword where basically he got that hate infection right and this contract which was formed and again if you want to tie in age, age of extinction right there was a contract formed with lockdown originally for the seed to get optimus prime right the rust seed could be the infection itself that like, they're putting in my own opinion their own lore on this, right? They have to use all this stuff. It's kind of right there. Just substitute it and, and be open-minded and be creative. But the big thing that was so... That the connection through all of this, right, is that the spark is missing an Optimus Prime soul. Optimus, in my opinion, is dead. He sacrificed himself, right? Let's say Alpha Quintessa, Herald of Unicron. Her motives are unclear, right? It sounds like... And the Quintessons were negotiators. They were businessmen. Business talks first. The whole goal of Alpha, Alpha Quintesson is to get Unicron, the Energon, so he can restore his body, to, again, to be accepted. That's how you tie in her. It all can be tied in through the, the lore of Transformers, but they put their own touch on it, right? But Alpha Quintesson was a master manipulator, right? And they are breaking the soul of Optimus Prime, I think. They are manipulating him. This whole... This whole things we see Optimus getting destroyed by, in my opinion, is a trial of redemption. Um, I, I think I've touched on that before, I'll touch on it again right here. All this with Steel Bane punching him in the face, the, um, the, the Knights smacking him, destroying him. They are destroying, they are literally killing my hero. They are destroying him, and they're ripping him apart, and it's all around the deal, which could, again could be tied into the face. Optimus Prime could now be possessed with the Dead Matrix, because he used Dark Energon, maybe, right? Let's, be, let's just call it Dark Energon, to be able to revive the Matrix, and that's how Unicron got control of Optimus Prime. And Alpha Quinta, uh, Quintessas are manipulating him and doing Unicron's bidding because maybe he's still not strong enough. Like, what if he? What if that planet is sitting up in that moon, watching this all unfold, waiting to come down? Because basically, if you watch my last video, I think the the sword is very important. That's what providing the light. Basically, that's keeping the scapegoat from maybe connecting or expanding, right? The, the light is around Earth. Like, maybe that's the resting point. He's too weak to get it. If he goes on Earth, he'll instantly die or something, which maybe Excalibur is so important. But I thought that was very unique. And the reason what gave me this was based off a toy. This toy right here. Look at this. You see the horns right there, and, I'm, and here's another picture next to it. Next one, this is the Herald of Unicron and Optimus Prime version, right? But look at right there. In my eyes, you see the red horns, which re represent Unicron, in my opinion, right? It, the logo looks like the Herald of Unicron. You see the back horns of uh, the logo? Optimus has that originally, right? He instantly has that. He, his front ones, and he's got the back ones in the back. But he has got horns, and it's red, just like the infection. Everything's about the red color. I think this is the Herald of Unicron right here. I think Optimus Prime is being possessed and mind controlled by the Quintessons, who are the creators of the Transformers, could have created him. I'm gonna be doing a beast mode theory speculation on that one. Stay tuned, I'm almost done with that one. Really excited about that. But in my opinion, it's that toy, this commercial, if you guys haven't seen it, it's the it's the uh the, what the turbo changer or whatever. That looks in my mind when I saw this, the Riddler, shout out to you. That's what I thought of. I thought of that commercial I saw and I was like, oh my god, it all makes sense. This could literally be the Herald of Unicron all happening right in front of me. Unicron might be coming. Like I said, it might just be the glimpses. This could be focused on Alpha Quintessas. 
but Unicron could be coming. Like there, I, I believe now that the rumors have been leaked. I haven't seen it in the trailer. That's why this video took so long. That Unicron is coming. But in my opinion, this is the start. This is a good start to it. Let's go. Hope you guys enjoyed that speculation. The Herald of Unicron. I know I've been absent for a while, and I apologize. I had to get my mind right. That trailer was affected me a lot, and I'm gonna do a future video why Prime is so important to me. A lot of you guys have been asking, but yeah, I'm gonna start building a franchise with this Herald. I got more Herald of Unicron coming your way. You stay tuned. But I want to talk about something that's very important to me. Um, if you're into working out, protein shakes, all that good stuff, energy drinks in particular, this is my future brother-in-law's. It's called Hard Cut Subs. This is all natural, 100%, it's delicious. And if you're a gym nut or an energy drink person or just anything in general to boost your energy, again, natural, check out his website. I'm gonna leave the link in the description below. You can get a free sample, try it out, check out his webpage. But again, Hard Cut Subs. His name is Blake, he's my future brother-in-law. Uh, this is his personal supplement, and he's a huge gym nut. If you check out his page, he's a bodybuilder, and he's only getting bigger. But this is his supplement, and if you guys are a fan of this, again, check the page. You get a free supplement. Try it out, see if you like it, you never know. But I'll leave the link in the description. Stay tuned for shout-outs, guys. All right, let's do some shout-outs. Ray Data, what's up, bro? I told you I'd get you first, right? Nexus Night, man. What's going on, bro? I really enjoy our conversation, man. Keep it going. I love the nights, our night bond, man. It, it, it's, it's pretty it's pretty awesome, man. Shout out to you. Um, RG1 Gaming, always got to show you some love, man. Devin Prime, thank you so much, man. Make sure you guys check out his channel. He does some good stuff. He's, he knows his toys. What's up, Devin? Um, Stanley Blaze, as always, man. Always showing me some love, man. I really appreciate it. Um, Obey Jackson, thank you so much for your comment. I'm glad you enjoyed my last video. I really put a lot of work into that. I really appreciate it, guys. I'm kind of just rolling with this, right? Um, uh, Diego Perez, welcome to my channel, bro. I appreciate you acknowledging that, letting people know you were here representing. I really appreciate that. The Riddler, what up, man? I'm making your movie. I kind of gave you a little hint on this. The Herald of the you know our conversation. I really appreciate it. The Riddler is kind of motivating me to get back into speculation. So everybody should show the Riddler some love, man. Go follow him on Twitter and stuff. Leave a link in the description below. Who else we got? We got mine, uh, Miner Master 183 man. Thank you so much for your comment about me being uh, up with the Titan and the Holy Grail of Transformers. I'm not going to say his name, but I'm a fan of him. So when I heard that, that, that made my day, man. That was a bad day I was having, too. You made it all happen, man. Well, Master Builder 164 Gaming and Reviews and Fun. Thank you, bro. I appreciate you showing me your script. Um, I'm not gonna say anything. He's gonna what, guys? It's really, 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 really good. The Flaming Mom, but random. Welcome, bro. Appreciate the love, all that you've been showing me, dude. Really appreciate that. Mikel Kayan, uh, 21. Mikel Kane, 21. I hope I said it right. Cheers from Germany. Tell me to keep uh, doing up the great work. So Volkswagen. I love the Germans. German myself. Thanks a lot, man. Really appreciate that, man. Um, God of Chaos, man. God of Chaos. Love you, bro. He came at me, man. He came at me with great theories, explaining all his stuff, wanted me to answer the question, backed it up. We had a good argument, and now he's one hes one of my boys now, man. He even, he brings up the comments. So, God of Chaos, love your name. He knows his stuff. He backed it up. He, I hope he backs me up. We had a good, we had a good, solid Transformers debate, and that's what I love about this channel. Is that the world of speculation, nothing's wrong, and he had an open mind about it, too. He came at me like a prime, man. What's up, God of Chaos? Um, Swag King. 18, just giving me a shout out, saying definitely a video to look back on. The Redemption Trials of Optimus Prime, check it out if you have one. One of my favorites, kind of just rolled with it. Vintage X Collectibles, man. Thank you for the comment, man. I really appreciate uh, your theory. He checked out one of my old videos and um, basically said it was an interesting theory. It was one of my older ones and it was one that I was kind of embarrassed about. So I wanted to give you a, a nice shout out. And if I missed you guys, uh, make sure you leave the comments. John Four, oh yeah, my buddy John Four. Go check up his YouTube channel. Follow him on Twitter. He got an Autobot um, tattoo. Badass man, check it out. But guys, I got plenty more speculations coming. Guys, like I said, I've been absent. I'm gonna do a video of uh, more of this Herald of Unicron series. I'm gonna be doing the Knights of Cybertron series. I'm gonna be working. I thought I'd touch this on Optimus Prime. I got more coming. I'm gonna do a major thorough breakdown of Beast Wars coming. Connect with Optimus Prime and Dragonstorm. Um, I'm gonna basically give a lot of prime for the next couple of ones. 
go all in and kind of, I want to say put him in retirement, but I'm going to wait for the movie to come out and we'll talk a lot about him because there's a lot of stuff I want to talk about, Hot Rod and stuff. So guys, I'm back. Thank you so much for the love and support. If you guys are familiar with this channel, we, we talk Transformers, we speculate, we BS. I'm going to get back in the live stream. Everything's back as you can see my new setting. Um, to my subscribers, I love you so much. Make sure to f f hit that like button, subscribe down there to my channel and follow me on Twitter, guys. I love you so much. Guys, keep speculating. LPS, Last Prime Speculator. Peace.